Yo, what is going on YouTube? It's Noobski, and we're gonna be rolling some Boomkin damage here in, uh, what's this BG called again? Twin Peaks. So I've been playing like Battlegrounds all day long, and I've just been, <laughs> just been enjoying the Boomkin scene right now. Uh, I'm building myself as a AoE, like just an AoE master basically, just all about the Starfall, all about the dots, all about the Starfall damage. Uh, just AoE pressure on their team, trying to push them out. Uh, stress out their healers and nuke the potential target that needs to be nuked. So we're gonna have a bunch of fun here We're just gonna just just try and annihilate as many guys as we can and just spit out the AoE as best as we can I have my stats set uh, right here You guys can take a look at it. This is just optimal for AoE in my opinion uh, Shooting stars for the AoE dots, stellar drift obviously for more damage and starfall Wish I had celestial downpour 30% increased damage for starfall, but I don't so we're gonna go we're gonna go ahead gonna go head on with these guys here I'm just gonna damage them dot them up keep my distance gonna do an AoE oh, okay here we go probably just gonna get out of there oh no hook man whoa they get a double pull now eh okay can I keep this keep this guy off me for a bit here gonna pressure these guys dot them up just gonna keep dotting these guys and I'm gonna take insane amount of damage I don't have a team to back me up that was kind of silly to jump in like that <laughs> <coughs> they're obviously going to they're obviously going to be bursting me down so I got absolutely annihilated there so we're going to go ahead and try and push that front line again and then we're just going to do the full moon drops on the uh, flag carrier or any primary targets uh, because it seems to be the most effective way of playing moonkin right now we're just going to clean this guy off right here I'm going to just get two procs on my new moon and half moon I want to proc out so I have my full moon ready and then build a little bit of astral power while we're here just do a, do a little spamming while we got... Oh, she's in front of us. She's, of course, she's going like, to take no damage right now. Got her defenses up. Okay. Let's wait for the front line here to come. Uh, you want to stay out of damage for a train of thought. That 15% increased damage is just... It's hectic. It is hectic on the battlefield. Uh, for any type of BGs, train of thought, I think, is, a, is uh, one of the, the better traits to go for your uh, rank 2 stuff. I'm not gonna worry about that warrior. He's he's being taken care of right now. Okay, we're just gonna start dotting up some guys here. Throw some dots in the demon hunter. Let's try and get as many dots as I can on many and the most targets I possibly can here. And we're gonna have issues with this buddy. Drop this guy, instant cast, and take this moonkin out. There's the burst. Nice, right on. Insta killed. Okay, there is the front line over there. I gotta get my ass over there. This is the most important. Oh no! I was, uh, that's part, partly my bad. Starfall, and then we're just gonna dot. We're gonna dot, we're gonna dot, we're gonna dot. We're gonna dot as many guys as we can because we're set up right now to gain extra celestial, uh, uh, uh what is it called? Uh, sorry, astral power, uh, through dotting. So there's another Starfall. Okay, this guy's, this guy's not into me right now. I'm just gonna run. He's probably gonna pull off. Yeah, he's gonna get everything he can to try and get me. See if I can go ahead and do this. Keep running, keep running, keep running. That hunter's on me. Okay, we're with our team again. Keep dotting. We're just gonna keep dotting. Hopefully those guys didn't... Oh, did we get our flag back? Right on. Works. We're just gonna keep spamming dots on everybody. There's a star fall. Poorly placed, but you know. This hunter has been on me for a bit, so I kind of want to focus her down right now. Don't like that she was on me, trying to mess with me. Yeah, you back off. Okay, keep dotting here. Perfect. This is going to be a good time for full moon. Wicked. Hit all of them there. That was amazing damage there. You're just going to keep keep procking more dots here. Pop my defenses. Okay, I'm going to probably I'm probably only going to die here, but I'm going to keep dotting these guys up. Just try and maximize the amount of damage I can do to these these guys. Juke away around the corner. Got the healing. Oh, let's see if I can live here. Come on, Alkin Frenzy, Alkin Frenzy. Oh, I lost I lost the hunter there. And nuked down by their team. Well, anyways, we stalled them out a bit there. Got a lot of damage. How are we doing so far for damage anyway? Second place on our team, not too bad. Oh wait, damage done. Yeah, second place on our team, right below the warlock. Second place overall. Uh, we're doing pretty good. As you guys can see, it does heavy damage. There is a lot of pressure Moonkins have in BGs if you play them properly. Just, just focus on AoE, focus on dotting the targets up. 
build like build like this if you want to do maximize it. I mean, a lot of people do astral command, which is great for two v two, three v three arenas. It's also good for BGs, but I do shooting stars because the way I like to play is I like to dot as many guys as I possibly can. And oh, I didn't even pop into move form. And I actually ran right into the whole team. That was really kind of a noob move there. I'm just gonna run this way for a bit. We got our flag carrier over here, anyways. Probably gonna get jumped here by the warrior. No, we're good. We're good. I'm just gonna walk my flag guy over here. If we do get jumped by their team, I'm gonna just pressure them down with AoE damage again. Uh, stay on the left of him. Okay, here's a hunter. I'm gonna go ahead and there's not much AoE to do here, so I'm gonna go ahead and proc up my uh, full moon so I have it available when I do need it. Like right now, this guy is going to die. And that is how we deal with healers. Just like that. I'm just gonna keep spamming this move here. I don't think I'm gonna be able to drop him though. Perfect, great. I uh, wasn't really paying attention to my team. I hope the healers have it under control. Uh, did we lose it? No, we still got it, we still got it. Yeah, right on. Ah, uh, please don't run from the healer. <laughs> you gotta love these flag carriers that just, that just like, they think they wanna get there as fast as they can, which yeah, you do, but it's more important to just sit with the healer. It honestly is. Okay, this warlock pet is just annoying. I'm gonna take him off me. Why is he here? Where the hell did he come from? Like, where's his warlock master? <laughs> that makes no sense. Okay, let's look at the map here. Where, where should I go? Where should I go? Okay, our guys are getting in there. We gotta take out their flag carrier. I'm probably gonna try and go stealth here. I'm just gonna pop that so I can go stealth so these guys don't jump me. They're gonna probably meet up with their flag carrier. I'm expecting that to happen. When they do, I'm gonna do mass entanglement. The reason why I'm doing mass entanglement for my BG uh, talent is because it can, yeah, like look at this. I'm just gonna go ahead and just like that. Slow them down a little bit. Uh, of course it didn't make much of a difference. Didn't make a big difference, I should say, but hey, a little bit of something, right? And here we are with the AOE. Ah ha ha. That is a beautiful sight right there. All these guys in my AOE damage. I'm gonna make sure I'm proccing Moonfire and Starfire on as much guys as I possibly can right now. Right. That AOE, the AOE, the AOE Starfire is just unreal. The fact that you can just apply it to everybody is unbelievable. Okay, we're gonna keep dying these guys up. I'm probably gonna go ahead and proc another Starfall right in there. Nice, reapply that. And I'm gonna go ahead and drop the Flag Carrier one, and here it goes. Double cast. Oh, uh, it's not gonna kill her. It is not gonna kill her. Uh, but it came close. It came really close. You guys can see that Moonkins are just oh, they're unbelievable in battlegrounds right now. Uh, this just unreal. I'm gonna sound. I actually, actually should have done this earlier, but I didn't. Um, didn't really get that silence off. I'm really thinking about it. Do they have a flag still? Okay, I'm just gonna. I'm gonna get out of there. Actually, too much damage. Too much heat on me right now. I know they are not into me. <laughs> Okay, this guy wants to scrap me, so I'm probably gonna do some single target damage there. Nope, he's gonna bounce over there. I'm gonna try and avoid him. There's no point in doing a 1v1 right now with that guy. Uh, I just wanna try. There we go, we got one flag in. Right on. So, their whole team's still here. I'm gonna keep applying dots. There we go, another Starfall right on their whole team. Moonfire, Moonfire, Moonfire. Just keep doing Moonfire because Starfire is gonna be applied to anyone, every everyone anyways. And I'm gonna push down a valuable target, Moonkin, my nemesis. He looks like he's being taken care of right now, so I'm not gonna worry about that. Ah, might as well pick off the warrior. I'm just gonna proc my, uh, oh, here we go. We got this guy. Okay, here's another example of healer deeps. Okay, here we go. And we're gonna do another one right here. And see if I can take her out. No, not quite. You know, if you have one other DPS though, like just a rogue or something, it will just, it will totally solve your problem. You can kill anybody. <laughs> <coughs> so I don't wanna have to take damage because I'm gonna keep, I'm gonna keep my thing on on right here, even though it's not on right now. Oh, there's a lot of them right now. I'm gonna run. I'm gonna rip it down this way. Where's the team? Oh, their flag carrier. I did not realize their flag carrier was right there. So I'm gonna try and do a mass entanglement on her. Their team is gonna know I am approaching, so I'm gonna run now this way. Make it so if they do choose to stay on me, like this hunter, it will cost him more because he's not defending his flag carrier. So I'm just gonna go ahead and kill this hunter here. It's not gonna, oh, maybe not. Ah, yeah, no, we'll just let him kill me. It's not really a big deal. There's no way I'm gonna get her out. 
focused on me big time, which was annoying. Of course, you're gonna have those one that that odd guy that's gonna do that to you. But look at us, we're walking here flawlessly. He was spending his time on me when he could have been somewhere else doing something else. <laughs> so I'm gonna hop back in the battle as soon as I can. I'm gonna probably I'm gonna go on an offense just to pressure their healers down. How are we doing for damage right now? And top DPS by a long shot. We're at 41 million damage right now. Second place is that Warlock buddy at 35 million. So you could see that uh, the damage output, you got so much damage potential and our team got the flag, so that's wonderful. But yeah, the damage output right now is unreal for these guys. Let me just do a full rotation here. And then you do your star surge and yeah, there we go, that burst. <laughs> <coughs> reason why I play this play this class. I'm sorry guys. I have a little bit of a cough <coughs> but The show must go on right okay. This girl is annoying our team here We're gonna dot her out actually is that a warlock. Yeah, I, I just I don't like warlocks at all. <laughs> I Think they have way too much defense. I think they have far too much defense, but I think uh, priests do as well, so Frost mages surprisingly aren't OP with defense anymore. In my opinion, guys, this is just an opinion thing. I mean, what I've experienced on my Shaman and Moonkin. So I'm gonna let these guys regroup. It's not really a big deal if they regroup and capture the flag and start trafficking it. It's once they're together is what's going to really, really is where I'm gonna excel at. So I'm just gonna hang out in the front here and uh, rip on this hunter, actually. I hate this hunter. Probably can get some revenge on her now. Oh, hello. Just gonna go ahead and there we go, perfect. And she feigned death. Some of these, no, and you're gonna do that, are you? Defend yourself up with that bubble. They don't like, people know, people know about this move. <laughs> full moon. They know about full moon. Oh, this guy's healing himself, but what's going on here? All right, we're gonna go ahead on this hunter again. This hunter is annoying me, she's killing our team. And she's gonna be out of range here. Ah, there we go. She died. Perfect. And that's all it takes. A full moon and star search proc. There is their team over there, as expected. I'm gonna go ahead and root them in. And I'm just gonna stall for time. I'm not gonna really attack them right now because I just want my team to get here. There we go. Perfect. And that's exactly what it is all about. And I'm just gonna go ahead and dot and dot and dot. And then I'm not gonna worry about the flag carrier yet. I'm just gonna focus on AoE dotting. Perfect, because I want to stress the healers right now. That's what the idea is. I, was, I just want to keep stressing these healers because it's going to be too much for them to handle. Uh, moon fire, moon fire. Looks like most of these guys are moon fired. Perfect. Just keep applying these moon fire dots. One on the warrior, another one on another warrior here. I think it's a, it's a shaman over there. There's his healer, and I can just I can see his healer now. So I'm gonna I'm gonna put a little bit more pressure on him right now. And I'm gonna do the double, double. And that might get him. Oh, that might get him with the double proc. There we go. Healer down. I'm gonna do an AoE root on all these guys again. And I'm gonna make, I'm gonna give myself a little bit of, of distance here. Okay, that was annoying. Not distance away, but I'm gonna get up ahead. Yeah, and this hunter's gonna sit on me because she knows what she's doing. Pop this healing, healing crate here. It's perfect. Where is their guy? Oh, their whole team's over here. I thought he went around the corner. My bad. Oh, they dropped it. Oh, and we won. There we go, guys. That's that's the game. That is balanced, dude, for you. 60, 56 million damage. Now, if you play a game like a 40 versus 40 match, you could see this number getting like over 200,000. It's unbelievable. So anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope you learned a little bit of something. Uh, if you did, please give me a thumbs up. It would be much appreciated. And if you do want to see more WoW content, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. I'm going to be uploading WoW content, WoW videos every second day. So yeah, anyways, thanks again, guys, and I'll see you on the battlefield.